Okay, so these are two good brands. I like both of these brands. I've probably used Paradise products more so than Emerald. I like Paradise's um, commitment to quality, and I'm more familiar with their commitment to quality. Uh, Emerald, as you can see, has this whole additive free thing on the label there, and Paradise is much the same. They're all about that. So they're both really good brands, and taking both of these B-complexes, I like them both a lot. They're both really good B-complexes. So differences, the Emerald one, it has a ton of different enzymes in here. They've got plant enzymes, proprietary blends, they've got B vitamins. I like that they've got a regular niacin in here of 10 milligrams. I mean, personally, I take 3,000 milligrams of niacin daily spread out. I probably do 1,000 milligrams which, with each meal. Even though the B vitamins, as it says with the suggestion here, is you can take it with or without food, it's not really a big deal. So there's also a big discussion about methylcobalamin, like the B12 you see there, whether you should have a, a methylated B vitamins or non-methylated. As you see, this says methylated on the label there. Some people say that the methylated version has zero shelf life virtual zero shelf life like it's bad as soon as you pick it up off the shelf but i don't know i feel like i've seen a lot of benefits from all kinds of b vitamins whether they're methylated or cobalamin however other people might not be the same because some people have this mthfr gene which prevents them from utilizing the cobalamin form and making it methylated which is the type your body needs to produce it and uptake it and so there's the cool thing about the paradise I like as well is there's a large amount of green herbs and they put probiotics in here too and time out okay so my daughter wanted to join me she's gonna sit here and learn all about B complex vitamins as well so like I was saying about the paradise blend I really do like that they have such a large amount of herbs put in there and probiotics um, the thing is, it's a proprietary blend of like 33 milligrams, and this is actually a list of like 25, 27 different items inside of that blend, and it's kind of crazy in my opinion. I mean, the one thing about lists here, you can tell that there's um, that there is a number of in order. They're listed in the order of amount from most to the least. That's the way it's supposed to be in all of the ingredients lists and labels lists and all those things. So uh, quercetin here and all these other antioxidant and veggie berries and stuff blends, those are good for you. If you know I've known quercetin and other bioflavonoids is what they're called that could help if you have a bloody nose or if you're prone to bloody noses and a lot of other health benefits as well. So, yeah, between these two, I like them both, and I saw good benefits from both of them. And for me, I would still probably stick with the Paradise brand because they're more affordably priced for the most part. Pretty much all of the ones I've looked into, the Paradise brand is really good quality, and they're organic. It says so on their website, non-GMO. And yeah, their multivitamin was probably the first item that I started using from them. So I really like it. And yeah, Emerald, I usually mostly suggest people take the eye formula that Emerald makes because there's it's almost it's almost exactly like this one that's really popular called Accubite, which I probably wouldn't suggest it, but the Emerald one, the vision from Emerald is amazing, vision formula. Uh, anyways, guys, that would be about it. Stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy when you do. When you do, stay healthy, alright? That was funny, honey. Good job. Yeah.